<laughs> what? What an unexpected surprise. <laughs> I really was not expecting you. I haven't like cleaned my room or anything today, so this is a little bit awkward. Um, I know that you want to see my room, but it's not actually really ready yet. I know you wanted a moving update, but I have to clean things, so uh, bye. Hey there, my name is Libby Lynn and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a moving update as well as kind of a mini room tour. Several weeks ago I posted a video of my family going house hunting for a home near the ocean. you guys hanging and never really updated you on what happened after that. Well, I'm so thankful to say that we did find a house. The place that we're in right now, we're only temporarily renting, but we're so thankful and blessed to have found it. It's a cute little townhome with three bedrooms, which means I have plenty of room for people to come visit me. So I'm super excited about that. I love the location. I love that we're only 20 minutes from the ocean and that we're so close to the downtown area and have dozens and dozens of stores and restaurants to choose from. Now for some of you, that may not sound very exciting if you grew up in a big city, but I did not. I grew up in a town with two stoplights and the only place you could go shopping for anything was Walmart. We used to have a Kmart, but Kmart eventually shut down and the only thing that was left was Walmart. Thumbs up if you remember your local Kmart. I now live dangerously close to Chick-fil-A and Hobby Lobby. I've also discovered a bunch of amazing Mexican restaurants, one of which has a Taco Tuesday and sells tacos every Tuesday for really inexpensive, which makes me so happy. We have a nearby airport, which means if I want to go somewhere, I can actually go somewhere without having to drive like four hours or five hours to the nearest airport. We have a mall, praise the Lord, <laughs> because believe it or not, you guys, my nearest mall in Michigan was three hours. And that wasn't even the good mall. That was kind of a rundown, um, older mall. If you wanted to get to like the really nice shopping areas, you had to go a good five hours. If you grew up in a small town like me, you can see why this would be exciting. If you're like one of my friends who grew up in California, in San Jose, um, you're probably laughing at me right now. <laughs> I could sit here and ramble on about Chick-fil-A and Hobby Lobby all day long, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to show you guys my room and show you what I've done to it so far and what I plan to do to it in the future. The reason this update video slash room tour took so long to create is because my room isn't done yet and I kind of just wanted to wait until everything was set before I showed you guys. But I am very slowly and meticulously picking out the things that I want for my bedroom because like I said, there are so many different stores and options. I don't want to just jump on something. I'm trying to kind of be strategic and plan what I really want. So because of that, it's going to take me a few more months to get my room exactly how I want. But in the meantime, I can still show you guys the progress that I've made. So you probably recognize this little background piece here um, because I had something similar to this in my old bedroom as well as I've had this for the background for some of my YouTube videos that I've already posted for you guys as well as just my background like on Instagram and doing live chats and things like that. Nothing here is new, but these are some of my favorite pieces, some of my favorite decorations that I'll probably carry around to all of my houses for the rest of my life because they're just so cute. Twinkle lights are like my love language. <laughs> I have so many twinkle lights. I have strings and strings of Christmas lights that I brought with me to use to decorate my room. So there's no shortage of supply for the twinkle lights. This glass slipper is one of my favorites. You guys have probably seen it everywhere. I've done photo shoots with it for my books. I just, I love this glass slipper. It was from Hobby Lobby. It was an amazing find. You guys are gonna quickly discover that pretty much everything in my room is from Hobby Lobby. Cinderella. Um, was sent to me by my sweet friend Kenya. Um, I'm not sure where she got these, but Cinderella and she also sent me Aurora, which are totally adorable. And these old crates are some of my favorite. These are very, very old 
old shipping crates. Like this is the cutest. I'm not entirely sure where they came from or how old they are, but they were at my grandma's house and um, I kind of snatched them up because they're just super cute and you can't find crates like this anymore. Choosing the colors to decorate my room has been interesting because I'm not allowed to paint the walls. Because we are renting, the wall color has to stay the same. And this wall color is very interesting because sometimes it looks blue and sometimes it looks gray. And sometimes it almost has like a purplish tinge to it <laughs> depending on the light. So I really wasn't sure which color scheme I wanted to go to, to go with. But the first thing I did upon arriving was setting this little baby up just so I felt like I had a little bit of decor in my room. Another piece I pulled out was this gorgeous, gorgeous watercolor painting that one of my friends made for the Glory Riders retreat. She gave one to all of us girls and you guys, it fits perfectly. Wow, that's totally crooked <laughs> with the wall color. So I'm so glad that I brought this because I did not know what color the walls were going to be. We agreed to renting the house without actually seeing it, which is a story in and of itself. But um, I'm super excited to get this hung up. The reason I don't have it hung up yet is because I don't have command strips, so I need to get some of those. The official theme for my room is going to be a travelers and adventure theme. I love traveling and I'm not sure how long I'll actually be living in this home, so I thought it was perfect to bring a little bit of travel and adventure into my room. The first piece I picked up for this travel and adventure theme came from none other than, dun, 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 you guessed it, Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up these pieces so you guys can see what they look like. I'm having to pace myself with my Hobby Lobby purchases because, um, you know, it's gonna like break the bank if I don't. <laughs> so um, here is the first little item that I picked up. Actually, it's kind of big, bigger than my head, so it's a nice size, but I'm absolutely in love with this piece. Embrace the adventure. It's an old map with the colors that I want to incorporate into my room, which are black and this light blush pink. I already have a little bit of pink on my wall from the Let's Go Runs on Cupcakes and Jesus sign. And so um, I love this blush pink color, gold and black and adventure. This is what I'm gonna be trying to incorporate into my room. Still deciding where I will hang this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go above my bed, kind of like a headboard. But it's not going to hang by itself. It will be accompanied by this little cutie. This adorable arrow. Okay, I will admit this came from the baby section. This came from the nursery. But just wait until you see how perfectly perfect it meshes with this I love those colors so I'm still deciding if this is going to go like over the frame or under it but it's going to go on this wall. Arrow also has this touch of blue in it which I think is perfect for incorporating into that wall and then bringing in the pink which I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get pink in my room and I'm so happy that it's working out. Another way I'm incorporating this blush pink is with my curtains. I got these curtains from Kohl's on sale. They were 50% off, which was a wonderful deal because all the other curtains that I looked with, they were only one panel. And I definitely needed a two panel for the size of my window. It's a really huge, awesomely big window, but the sun comes in really hot and the moon is super bright at night. So I definitely needed some curtains. And plus they're just adorable. Right now my room is pretty bare and everything is sitting on the ground. <laughs> I do have a little bit of storage here in my closet. It's a nice size closet. I've got a bunch of stuff on the ground and I've got some space up there to hang things and to um, put things over the closet. But basically right now, everything's on the floor. I picked these little racks up from Aldi because hey, we live a second away from Aldi as well, which is perfect because I love Aldi. I'm still deciding if this is gonna be for my books and notebooks because I have a ton of books and notebooks or if I'm going to put these in my closet and store clothes. I have a pile of dirty clothes here because I don't have a hamper yet, but I saw a very, very cute one at Burlington Coat Factory yesterday, which matches perfectly with the Paris theme. Oh my goodness, I didn't even tell you about the Paris theme. The Paris theme is in my bathroom, which we'll get to in a moment. Right now, I'm still looking for more storage space. I'm looking for more, um, 
for more pieces to elevate and get my room off the ground so that I can have some things on the walls here. Um, hopefully like have a desk and maybe even a dresser, even just like a bedside table. I still am in need of one of those. Right now, all my bedside books, my Bible and whatnot are all down here next to, oh, what do you know? They're next to the broom. Why would I have a broom next to my bed? That's a great question, but really my question for you is why, oh, Southern America, do you have roaches? I don't understand the need for them. I don't understand how you can handle those little disgusting critters. And for that reason, we have a broom next to my bed because I may or may not have had a roach in my bed, which I needed to kill. And because of that, we have the broom, we have the fly swatter, we have the paper towel, we have everything and we're totally ready and prepared. Now we have my bathroom. I'm so super stoked about the Paris Eiffel Tower shower curtain. It is my favorite. I found it at Big Lots and as soon as I saw it, and the fact that it was on sale, I knew that I had to have it perfect for my bathroom. And so this is where the Paris theme is coming in. I'm going to be doing a Paris themed bathroom. I picked up a little towel, which I think meshed really well with the walls. And it's so funny because the walls are showing up differently in this lighting. They're not as yellow as they look. They're actually much more peach. They're kind of more like this color. I also picked up this floor rug to tie everything together and this adorable golden trash can. The funny thing about this waste basket is when I saw it, I was like, oh, this would be perfect for my Paris bathroom because I'm bringing in these peach and gold colors. And then I put it down here and it just kind of looks like a plain, boring, old trash can, <laughs> but that's okay. I guess a trash can really only serves one purpose. I have a really nice sink and mirror and I love having my own bathroom. Thumbs up for that. As you can see, my room is still very much a work in progress. There's a lot to do over the next couple months, but I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching this video, for following along on our little house hunting and moving journey, and for just being your amazing self. <laughs> All of your comments on my YouTube videos seriously make my day. I'm creating these videos for you guys, so I want to know if you're enjoying them or not. If you've ever gone through the process of moving and redecorating a brand new bedroom, or if you have some organizational tips or just decorating ideas, please feel free to comment below and share them. What do you think of my color schemes? And what do you think about the fact that I live so close to Hobby Lobby? If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that and turn on your notifications because right now I'm in the kind of the groove of posting a video every single week. Every Thursday, new videos come in your way. A variety of music and writing tips, decorating, doing fun, random things, traveling, all sorts of cool stuff. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed my moving updates slash mini room tour. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go fill a bug. <laughs>